What's going on everybody? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another Fight Camp video and in this episode we are talking about how to beat the submission specialist and in this video I have for you guys a, a fight of me using Max going up against a Brian Ortega player and I thought why not just roll the tape and we could kick back relax and just talk about some strategies when it comes to beating that submission specialist and the first thing you need to think about I truly believe, man, when the fight's on the feet, you really have to act and act quick. Be accurate with your shots, but make sure you make the most of your time on the feet and try to hurt them, man. Try to really hurt your submission opponent as I lace them right there with an uppercut. And understand that, you know what, you may not have a lot of time on the feet, so when you are on the feet, you really have to make the most of it and um, do some damage. Another, another thing too that I just want to say in this year's game, a lot of these submission guys love to clinch you up and love to try to um, submit you with those um, standing you know, submissions, those clinch guillotines that a lot of people are trying to do. Always remember, R2 brother, R2, RT for you Xbox guys to stop that submission. You also have to remember too, try to keep that stamina up. Oh, see how he tries to go for that submission right there? I simply just held down R2 or RT for you Xbox guys and just got away right away, man. But I'm really trying to lay the leather on him, really trying to hurt him. And I did earlier and I hurt him again. Oh man, and I rock him right here. And this is where I believe I make a mistake. See that? I was trying to finish the fight and I totally went against what I was just saying earlier. You got to be so careful when you're posturing up and um, you're trying to finish your uh, opponent who's a submission guy but you don't just blow out your stamina because one shot is going to put you in a bad spot and that's what happened here but I managed to recover. Another thing too man is you got to be so careful with your transitions. Try to fake, try to um, try to move but also sometimes it's, it's a good idea just to kind of stay stagnant when you're in your own guard and your opponent is trying to you know find a way to submit you sometimes it's good to just um, hang out and deny your opponent's transitions as I deny his transition right there but I'm trying to get into full guard and then I'm playing the waiting game here I'm playing the waiting game and uh, I realize there's less than a minute on the clock but uh, I'm not trying to go bonkers trying to get myself up or try to get myself in a better position see how I deny him right there because these guys, what they like to do is they like to deny a transition and then they like to lock in a submission. So you got to be so careful. I managed to sneak up right here. But again, every move that you make on the mat, you got to be so careful. You can't, you can't panic. That's another thing too, man. You can't panic. But again, when it got back to the feet, I understood that it was my time to um, lay the damage. And... Um, after that round, I really felt like I did a good job. The only part where I made a mistake was when I overcommitted on my shots when I was posturing up on the mat, and then it put me in a bad spot. So, as I said, I know I'm repeating myself, but as I said, just don't go totally crazy when you're posturing up, throwing shots against a submission guy. Sometimes they're trying to bait you into a trap, and I felt like that's what this guy was doing here. R.A.P. Kobe, what an awesome PSN name, much respect. Oh, but I rock him right here, look at this. But sometimes they're trying to bait you into traps, and right there I made a mistake. But, um, holy cow, I managed to stuff that takedown. I managed to back away from the clinch. But you just gotta be calm, you know? Don't be too wild, though. And you gotta understand, good takedown defense and good stamina is going to be a recipe for for victory in my opinion now I'm still put, pushing forward too that's another good thing you want to make him as uncomfortable as he, as he can you know as you can excuse me and look at this tries to get my back and I miss it I miss denying that and this is where things are dicey but right here I made a video of this the best way to get out of submissions is to flick that left analog away from your opponent. Trust me, man. If you're not doing this, you are not doing the, the best strategy when it comes to getting out of submissions, especially choke submissions. So just flick that left analog. 
flick that left analog away from your opponent, then like stall for a second, then flick it away again. Right here, when I'm in my opponent's guard, I'm so careful and I end up bailing. I end up bailing, showing them respect. Because even if you land shots when you're postured up, it's like hurt him again. Your stamina is going to be low and then you know it, man. They're going to try to lock in a submission. But look at this. I'm trying to make the most of my time and oh my gosh. I really felt like I hit him with that uppercut, but it missed. And again, I'm trying to keep my stamina up right here. I'm just staring at his torso, staring at his shoulders. Looking to deny, get a denial, then I get a reversal. Get a nice little rever reversal right there. But again, I'm being patient. Because this is what they want, man. These submission guys, they want this. They definitely want this. And another thing too, I'm not too sure if Ortega has rubber guard, but the rubber guard side is the side that your opponent's grabbing your, your head. So it's going to be to the left side of the screen. So you always have to remember that, that most guys will go that way. Does a nice job getting my back right here. I don't deny it. And then again, calm and cool, flicking the left analog stick away. Usually what I do is I flick away, then delay a second, wait for him to come to me, and then I flick away in a different direction. But I'm not simply going up and down. I'll go up, then I'll go left, then I'll go down, then I'll go right, then left, then up. I won't simply go up and down because it's too easy for my opponent to read. You know what I mean? So you got to be unpredictable. But here we go, man. Here we go. The next round, I really feel like I'm doing a good job at making him pay. That's what you got to do, man. You got to make him pay when the fight's on the feet and then not going too crazy and panicking when the fight's on the mat. Let me know your thoughts, by the way, on what you do when it comes to beating these submission guys. Oh, man, great sidestep. And this is where things get dicey. He denies me right there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, things are crazy. I managed to get into sprawl. Don't go up. Don't go up. They're going to push L2, R2, and up. And, um... Go into a jumping guillotine. I managed to deny this. And I'm nervous right here. I'll be honest with you. At this moment of the fight, I'm really nervous just because I just don't know what this guy's going to do. And you see that? See how I denied his transition? Then I waited a second to kind of let that window of pre-denial pass. And then I made the uh, made the reversal right there. He goes for another submission right here. And then in this submission game, I made a video on this as well, brother. It's all about finessing. Finessing back and forth. You're barely pushing those triggers. You're barely pushing the triggers. And you notice how I'm rocking it back and forth. And But then I'm hesitating going one way, then going the other way. Jeez, I made a mistake right there. I made a mistake trying to get up. And he tries to lock in another submission. I'm being very calm, being very cool. I have this trick that I do when it comes to the counter prompts. And I put my thumb right in the middle of all of them. And um, it's hard to explain with a PS4. I use a PS4 controller, but I move my thumb slightly to the left to get to the square, slightly up to get to the triangle, and slightly to the right to get to the circle. And it works, brother. Right here, I feel like I'm totally fine. I feel like there's no way Ortega is going to submit me right here, but I'm still being careful. I posture up, but then I get up because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to waste my stamina, and I may be in a bad spot. When it's on the feet, I feel comfortable. I feel like I'm all right. Oh, I rock him with a nice hook. Manage to back away a little bit. There's not a lot of time. I feel like I'm up in the scorecards or up on the scorecards, but I don't want to do anything silly. Nice. He's coming at me right here and being very patient. Nice. Uh, I really like how this guy does that. Oh, I rock him again with an uppercut. And this is when I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to get in there and try to finish him, but. What a fight. I really felt like 
you know, I, I, I stuck to the game plan and, and I only made a couple of mistakes. But I really feel like the key to beating these submission guys, always make sure to keep that stamina high, make the most of it when it comes to, you know, the, your stand-up game. And when it gets to the mat, don't try to transition too much, try to keep that stamina high, try to deny their transitions. And um, if you can sneak up, do it. If you can wait for the referee to stand you up, that's great too. And always remember how to escape from those submission games, man. Be so calm and cool. But keeping that stamina high is so, so important and keeping calm. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on how to beat the submission specialist. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Personally, I, uh, I hate facing these submission guys. It's so hard to deal with. But when you do win, it's so satisfying. Definitely, for sure. But what a good match against uh, R.I.P. Kobe. Anyway, anyway, guys, this is Ricky J. Have a great day. Thanks again for tuning in. And thanks for the support, as always. I'm out.